in this chapter we will talk about a custom program that i have written extract some data out of sap and also has the ability to upload data into sap now why is this such a big deal because this is a methodology that you typically use in many custom programs if you already know about the program mass mass that can do mass changes to master data you are pretty close in understanding this program except that mass transaction code mass mass is a standard inbuilt program given to you by sap right out of the box but most of the time we deal with z tables z programs customized logic so how do we download data do changes either in a text file or an excel and push it back to sap on a mass scale or on a smaller scale that's precisely the problem that we are trying to discuss in this chapter the business case that i have taken is an example of pricing coupons you know coupons right they are called by different names promo codes coupons deals or sales deals all of these are different names for promotion codes or coupon codes that companies give out to their customers customers could be dealers channel partners end customers retailers any of them so they distribute these coupons so that they can be consumed at a certain price or a certain deal quantity or any other deal that this company wants to set at let me explain the story a bit more in detail so here we have an example of a promo code uxi y21 it's a six character promo code that we have used in our company but promo codes could be anywhere from five characters all the way up to 12 characters and each promo code is associated with a set of conditions now in our case the condition was really simple just a base rate so when this coupon code or promo code is used a base rate of 250 dollars is applied now price is just one example a coupon code need not always be associated with a price example use this coupon code and you get 30% discount so it's not just a price it could be discount use this coupon code and you get a rebate well rebate is a different kind of discount altogether you know that right or use this coupon code and buy a quantity of 10 and then you get 50% off right so 50% off is a discount right off the bat provided you buy a quantity of 10 that's like a minimum purchase quantity so a coupon code could be associated with any number of conditions that of course you implement using your custom logic in the user exits and what not so the point being i want you to understand how coupon codes work how they are distributed how they are manipulated in our case the example is really simple just a base rate right each coupon code is associated with a base rate which means a price now these coupon codes were maintained in a z table which we'll get to in a moment and this 250 is not constant that's the base rate nothing else that's the rate if you apply it to a particular customer group meaning if a retailer assuming 02 is retailer if a retailer buys from you using this coupon code they're going to get it at 250 dollars from a set of validity dates say during the summer months or say during the entire year of 2016 17 18 whatever and similarly if another type of customer say a gold customer or a platinum customer buys from you he might get 260 dollars within this date range 
right so the point being we are further restricting the way the promo code can be used using customer group so a combination of promo code and customer group determines the rate and of course we have validity dates now these conditions need not be restricted to customer group right it could be based on price list it could be based on any variety of parameters i've chosen to give you just two examples price list for example channel partner or retailer each of them have different set of prices and valid through a set of dates and these of course are based on your condition type pricing condition type of course and that will be associated with an access sequence and access sequence will be associated with either this condition table or this condition table right essentially these are condition tables so we have two components here one is a custom table where promo codes are maintained along with a base price and condition records where you maintain the price specific to a particular condition like customer group price list and valid within a set of dates all right so what do we have to do here so this is something that already exists the change that we are going to do is add validity dates like from date and to date right at the z table level the condition records anyway have validity dates so we are not going to touch that but going forward the requirement is to add validity dates to the z table where you maintain the promo codes and why are we doing this so the business reason why we are doing it is to prevent misuse of promo code prices by varying the condition record dates a promo code can only be valid then you know a certain date range well typically any of the cases promo codes are not valid forever but sometimes because the validity date of the promo code is based on the condition record which gives more flexibility of course some of the users were misusing it by changing the condition records and thereby giving that particular price so the company has decided that you could have whatever condition record dates you want they'll be respected for pricing but you have to ensure that each promo code that you create needs to have a set of valid dates beyond which that promo code cannot be applied so this is the bigger set of validity dates meaning say this is valid all the way from the beginning of the month all the way to the end of the year right 112017 or to 121217 so that's a one year validity and at the pricing condition record level for customer group 02 you could have a shorter range so 112017 to let's say something like uh, 06312017 just 6 months and for channel partner you could have 8 months 0831 2017 right so this is your master data for driving dates and then of course further constraints can be placed at the condition record level so that is a change and we have already discussed the business reason why we are doing it now which companies would use this Now, the company that i have implemented for is a service company right they provide services and services have certain coupon codes and you use that code you get a certain price but it need not be restricted to services it could be any company johnson and johnson sells to a retailer right walmart that's a good example johnson and johnson sells online johnson and johnson sells via amazon all these are examples of different channel partners or end customers that johnson johnson sells to and they could have different coupons or whatever promo codes for different channels so this is basically suitable for any company that does you know small to medium range of products meaning 
if you are selling a million dollar product maybe coupon codes are not a good example right so don't give examples of coupon codes where you're selling a product for two million dollars no you know you start anywhere from one dollar all the way to hundred dollars thousand dollars coupon codes make sense beyond that you know sales don't happen with coupon codes okay so what is the gap here is there a gap actually there is no gap because the entire functionality of maintaining these coupon codes in Z tables and applying them at the condition record level is all custom functionality. Right? All I want you to do is focus on the technique of downloading extracted data and then changing it and uploading it back to SAP. It's more or less a data extract and data upload program, but we are doing that example in the context of pricing and promo codes you could you could modify it and customize it to any scenario you like 